Hi guys, so we are going to see how we can enable enhanced session mode if it is not available for a VM. Right, for that we are just going to create a virtual machine very quickly and we will see if enhanced session mode is available or not. If it is not available, how we can enable it. Right, so yeah, let's go for the machine creation. We are going to use condition one. We are going to give four gig of memory and uh, I'm going to disable it for my convenience. We can use that uh, default switch. Uh, if you want to create other switch, then you can use virtual uh, this one uh, virtual switch manager, right? To create your own switch and use that. So for uh, hard disk, we are going to use uh, existing hard disk that is available over here uh, so that we can create this machine quickly. So now the machine creation is in progress. Now I'm just going to start this machine. Okay, so here we should see a pop-up coming up for the enhanced session mode. And if it doesn't come, then we'll see how we can enable it. Fine, the pop-up is not there, so enhanced session mode even uh, enabled on Hyper uh, Hyper V settings. You can see that enhanced session mode is available over here. It has been enabled, but it's not working. Right. So for that, I'm just going to come over here and you can also verify if it is working here or not. So you can see that enhanced session mode is disabled. So to enable it, we are going to uh, going on terminal and we need to install XRDP. Okay. So we can simply okay into this and we are just going to check if get it installed or not okay so you can check over here that git is already present we are going to clone a, a script that is provided by microsoft from github So the script will help us to install XRDP and once that is installed we will see the screen as a full screen and all the clipboards and uh, and your disk can be accessed from this VM as well. Okay, if this doesn't work then there is no other way you can do it and have spent a lot of time but uh, I didn't succeed right so this is the best way to enable it fine so we're just going to get in here and we will see there is folder called one two and we have 18.4 so sometimes it works for 19.04 as well so you can if if it is not working over there you can use it so we are just going to give uh, execution permission to install the hs script okay now we are going to hit uh, the installation so we need to reboot once uh, it, it this is run So it says that to reboot your machine to begin using XRDP. So you might be required to rerun it, uh, right? So if, if it asks you to rerun, please rerun. So there is one more property that we need to set on the on the host machine. And we are going to do set VM and we are going to use VM name. Okay, VM name is going to VM1. Okay, now the property is enhanced 
session transport type and uh, now there will be HP socket. Okay, something is wrong. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, now now we have set all the properties for Hyper-V to work on the FXRDB. So we are just going to restart it. Okay, now I'm going to start the VM. go to connect and now you see that the pop-up comes in for you to configure the size right so I'm going to iterate the uh, large scale and there are other options that you can configure right if you want to configure for uh, audio and this one is important if you want to access your C drive over here and other plug-and-play devices right just need to connect it and now you should see it in full screen and XRDP starts working. So XRDP helps you to connect to a VM as if it is in your local machine. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, it will take some time. Okay, fine. So the screen is full now and uh, your enhanced session mode is also available okay thanks for watching